Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're at Latitude 13, it's a women's empowerment event. I'm one of the guest speakers, so we're going to be showing you about the day and all the events, and you get to hear me speak and all that. And on camera is Andrew, as always. Let's get to that and have fun day. Oh, there's actually tea and stuff. Yeah. It can be a high tea even without tea. And it's all about the tea. Oh, it's about the tea. <laughs> yeah. Now, I don't have a spoon or a tea bag in this. I feel like Pinkies I'm up. Better. What? Pinkies up. Oh, oh Pinkies. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Take it, sip it. You you sip it. Sip it. Okay. Yeah. We're doing it right? Yeah. <laughs> God, that's strong. Mmm, delicious. Oh. I don't know how they plan for us to eat this. Me too. Do I'm guessing the put the whole thing. thing. Do you lick the whole thing? I'm, I'm guessing. It's, it's a little cute idea. You lick the whole spoon though? Okay, and, but, and uh, this flower is edible. Yeah, yeah, I think it is. I think it is. It better be. <laughs> no, I'm that's just scared meat. of sweet stuff, so that's why I'm like, ugh. Down it. Yep. Ugh. Your teeth. I want to feel like I'm eating a flower. What did it taste like? It's no, really maybe nice. just pick it. Oh, it's nice? Mm -hmm. No, but like, no, I haven't eaten the flower itself. So. follow you on Instagram. I think I follow you on Instagram as well. <laughs> <laughs> We're from Bayard Print Extension. All right. So basically we do everything from corporate branding. Yes. To just branding you as a business if you want as well. We uh-huh. Everything. T-shirts. Yes. To magazines. Uh -huh. To brochures. Uh -huh. To books. Uh-huh. If you want to get your mag. Uh-huh. If you are looking for like maybe a birthday present and you want a face. Yes. Or words. We uh -huh. do that as well. All right. Roll up banners. Ah, okay. We do that as well. Uh-huh. Yeah. Business cards. Yes, okay. Business cards. We have this calendar. Calendars, okay. okay. As well. Oh, okay, fine. The sashes you use for your Miss Malawi Yes, project. yes, I heard we they were them. Awesome, they're really nice. They're really nice. I work with the UN Women and I'm also the founder of Nimi's Yahoo Ma Foundation. So 
So I'll give you a brief about my foundation, the foundation I started. It's regarding the same system about empowering women. So I got passionate into women's empowerment, given my own background. Growing up, I was bullied a lot and I didn't get along with some people. So I figured that I should also be there for other people in the same way that I did somebody to be there for me. So the Ninja Ma Foundation, I founded it a few months ago. It's about growing child empowerment. It has two aspects to it. The first aspect is about um, being there for the grow child. We teach girls the wrong things from a young age. Let's just say in Malawi specifically, we have the connotation that the first thing that a girl must achieve is marriage. And then secondly, you can achieve other things. You have the wrong mentality from a young age, and then you're growing up, and then when you get to 16 or 15 or so, then they have to change that for you, and you're saying, okay, fine. You learned the wrong things, now it's time to teach you the right things. We have to teach you that you can be a go getter you can be this and you can be that. But it's kind of like they're learning the wrong things from a young age, and then now they're grown up and they have to learn new things. So the whole point of the foundation is to say, these girls should learn the right things from, the, yeah, from a young age. That yes, marriage is important, you can do all these things, but besides that, you can do all the things like the guys are taught. Boys are taught from the beginning that you have to get your education, you have to get your money. There is no other way to success, you have to do this thing. And I find that girls must be taught the same from a young age. And now the other aspect of this foundation is about writing. Like she said, I'm a blogger, but I'm also a writer. I'm currently working on my two books. It's on the same empowering younger girls and giving them something to live up to. So I want to inspire other younger writers. I feel that as a writer, I'm still learning, but I don't really have many mentors. I don't have many teachers, so it's kind of trial and error. So I want to work with other young writers to give them a platform, to give them a voice. Let them discover what they find is their voice, how they can speak up, how they can make a difference in the world. So I want to give them that platform to say, if you're an activist, this is how you do it. Here's the mentor for you. If you're a writer, go contact this person. If you're a musician, if this is your voice, find what makes you speak up. Find what makes you different. Lastly, I just want to read something which really inspired me when I was thinking of what to say today. It says, um, do you speak up for what is right? Or you sit there reversing your silence? I hope you are what I am not. I hope you speak out with such a voice that everyone around you can hear it when you aren't speaking. I want you to have power in the way you speak, giving light into someone's world good with darkness. I hope you live a life like you're the only one capable of making a difference and embracing that ability in the best way possible. You don't need to have your name written in the text of a history book, but you need to live to make your words give life to the ones who thought they didn't have one. When you read this letter, I hope you're somewhere where all of your previous goals can be made accomplishments. I hope you still remember your past and you pass on your stories to those who need to hear it most and show them that they are not alone. I hope you achieve the brighter future and happier life you used to daydream about when you were younger. I hope all your dreams become your realities and have that you eventually, your nightmares dissolve into the depths of your past never haunting you again. I hope that one day you took off the mask that hid your truth. That you broke down the barriers you built and learned to trust someone. Really trust them somewhere along your journey. I hope that you look in the mirror with a smile, a true smile, and be proud of what you see. I hope that you learn to break through the surface of water drowning your anxiety. I hope that now you see the world from a whole new angle, and that you learn to enjoy the sun more than the rain. Most of all, I hope you learn to speak. To speak in such a voice that must be heard, a voice that embroiders your words onto a heart that needed them most. I hope you're happy, and I hope you teach ones who are like the old you be happy as well. I hope that today you are the person you always set out to be. So as women I feel we always tear each other down and we're always trying to bring each other down in a way and I find that we must change that because we're always talking about guys look down on us and guys don't want to give us a chance but we start ourselves because I find women it's so easy for us to when we look at another woman we always try to find the negative thing about her. The first thing we want to see is what's wrong with her. I mean like let's just look at me you could say oh that's your hair I don't like it. But you can also look at it and be like, oh, I really like her makeup. I think, you know, it's really amazing. Like, let's just try to find what we like about each other and forget about what we don't like about each other. Let's empower each other. If you see somebody here, instead of looking at what you don't like about them, try to find the thing that you like about them. Don't think about what you don't like. So I find let's find the positives and let's empower each other. Because I think I read something about me recently somewhere. And somebody said, I don't like her because she thinks we all want to be like her. And my friend went to her and said, what time did she ever say that? So we always have these analogies about people and other women and I feel that we're always looking down on each other and we should start together as women, you know, we empower each other and we're there for each other and then we can talk about 
getting the word also help us. We're talking about people are giving us more room in parliament and having more women ministers. But the truth is, once a woman has a voice, we are the first to tear her down. We are the first to say, who does she think she is? Who does she think she can become? Why does she think she can do that? And then we say that ah, the guys are not giving us room in parliament. When we look at the Kaliyatis and we're like, hey, she's so loud. Why is she always like that? Why is she always everywhere? When we need those women to actually be there to stand up for us, because once a woman stands up, she stands up for all of us. All women make it once one woman makes it. So I feel it's the whole spirit of this event that we're all here and we're all about women's empowerment. So yeah, I hope to get inspired by you. I'm very young, like I said, I'm 21, but I see so many inspirational women here and I hope to learn from you. I can't wait to hear your stories. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tanda. If we can all give her another round of applause. I know it's not easy being the first speaker, and she is inspirational. She did tell us the message of empowering each other, being nice to each other, talking to one another, and this is a networking event, so I hope you get to know each and every person that is here. My check, my check. Yeah, yeah, um, can yeah, I get to know you? Your name and your position. Right. My name is Intanda Lizzie Mandui. I'm working with UN Women. So can you tell us how important this kind of event is towards women in the country? Alright. Um, I think it's a very important event. In Malawi, we're always looking down on each other as women and always trying to tear each other down. As um, Jessica said, we always try to make stumble on other women to think we can get ahead by doing that. So I think it's better that we're here as women and we're talking to each other and we're interacting and networking. So I think it's important to have this event to actually know that women can be friends and we can get along and probably become even business partners at the end of it. Okay, we know that it's 2017 and women are still not given that higher rank in society. Yes. Why do you think that that's still happening? Mm. Yes, partly that is because of the obviously the patriarchy system which looks down on women and trying to say that women have to be less. They have to be softer. From my own personal experience, I have been told that I have to soften my voice, I have to speak lower, I have to be more humble, when that wouldn't be the case when it's a man. So I feel that we have to be given more of an opportunity and actually been given a chance. And like I said, as women, we also don't have to be those stumbling blocks to each other. We have to be there for each other and pull each other up. That way, if we stick together, then other people can also support us and help us get ahead. How do you feel this event will make an impact in society? I feel this event will definitely make an impact. We haven't had these events before. So I feel not this one that's going to change everything, but I feel like it's a beginning of a revolution. It's a beginning of something that women can come together just as women and we can get along and we can do this. So I feel once we publicize this and once this gets out there, there will be more events like this and eventually with time, more women will come together and we can be able to stick together. to make a speech and I think I've heard one speech so far by Jessica. She's really amazing. She talked about um, women standing together and not seeing each other as stumbling blocks and I think that's really important so I think we need to support each other more and stick together and she talked about you know recovering and you know you keep on running and you head on. So yes thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next vlog. Subscribe, like, comment, let's have a conversation. Bye!